hey guys and welcome to my channel this is Warris here today's video is gonna be my first diy ever i have been meaning to transform this bathroom for a while and i finally grew some guts to do so i'm definitely i what i call a beginner diy but to be honest this bathroom has turned out more than i have expected i was looking for something cozy elegancy classy with a little bit of vintage i got it all and it all turned out beyond my expectation i am so grateful to share with you so if this is something that interests you keep on watching because i am going to share each step until to the end this is the current bathroom at the moment this is before I actually kind of refreshed it a little bit of it two years ago and after two years we decided that this is going to be a long-term home for us therefore I'm going to start doing a DIY each space to make it into my forever space I'm not sure where I'm going to tackle next but in this video I am definitely tackling this bathroom so I'm starting off by removing the baseboard along with the trim and this the thing is the reason first of all i'm removing it's because i am doing a board and batten kind of style to this powder room so i do need to remove this baseboard here this is the original as you can see once i removed it the cements were pretty dry my husband did had to patch it up actually and fix it before we can move forward and then we realized that it was giving me a hard time to remove the baseboard but if you take a blade and just kind of cut or do an insertion along the line between the wall and the baseboard where you have the sealant it's easy to remove the baseboard so i'm going to remove all this once it's all gone of course it's going to create a lot of mess and this is what it looks like when it's all out so i'm gonna be bringing out my shack vac and vacuum here all of it take everything down so that it's nice and clean before I can go ahead and test out all the new boards. So these are already pre-cut for me as I took the measurements to Home Depot and i have a lot more in the garage as well so each section is measured and so what i'm going to do is that i'm going to be using these long ones for i'm going to put one each at the bottom and one will go where it's measured uh three and a half feet are the chip locks that i'm going to be using in between so i'll have one board go in the middle another one go at the bottom and then the chip locks will go in the middle First of all, I meant to say board and not shiplock. Maybe because I was talking about shiplock not long ago, it was still fresh in my head, but board and batten is what I'm doing. All these boards were already pre-measured and I got them to be cut for me at Home Depot, but I still had to cut them precisely. Or here, look, I'm removing the old wallpaper. This wallpaper, I got it from Amazon. It's super easy, it's clean, they have all kinds and it doesn't leave your wall messy it just comes off very smoothly so if you have a nice paint behind it is very very smooth but going back to this we still had to cut precisely all the spores we do have a saw in the garage so I would measure it and Sean would cut it now it's all installed all nailed so now I'm gonna go ahead and start putting the middle boards here and each board uh, in between I had them separate by 13 and a half inches so once it's all nailed you guys i have a lot to tell you of how this went down let me just say nothing went smooth and that is part of the process sometimes on projects especially when you are a diy beginner but overall it was well worth it because i am beyond satisfied with the outcome and i really hope you guys enjoy as well Thank <laughs> you. 
Ah, uh, what is it? That one moment where you realize that board was perfectly fitting and you don't need to recut it again and that excitement you're like yes that was me so now i'm going to continue finishing here with the rest of the boards behind the toilet once it's all done then i'm going to have to sand this wood i also got a little bit of rougher wood because i wanted to have it that like old wood look i didn't want to have like a perfect smooth wood so there were some areas though that were way rougher than usual which i had to sand them down and then there's a lot of caulking and sanding and it just never ends but i made sure that i did each section or each day i did something and not overburn myself and not just like go 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 and for this corner i kept the cover for the outlet and just worked around it and measured it that way everything fit perfectly So I do have to cut about an inch or a half an inch, half an inch off for the trim here. Um, I did not staple or nail them yet because I want to make sure I have the precise cutting. And then I'm going to get uh, the one that cut the edging. I'm going to do that. So I do have to go back to Home Depot right now and grab more of these trims. Somehow I only bought it for the top. But none for the bottom so I don't Bro, they had an M1. and at this point I was back I had all my trims but let me just say I felt like I lived in Home Depot for those two weeks at one point I was going back and forth so many times it was ridiculous I felt like the camera and everybody knew me already so here I'm just filling all the holes and all the spaces and just using dry decks once it's all dry then I'm gonna sand it and I'm gonna be filling a lot of holes and spaces so on this day what I did is that once I was done filling this because this takes a lot of time consuming I mean it, it is time consuming and takes a lot of time and at one point my arm was tired and on this day I also fell down the stairs so I was so hurting my body was aching the next day I was full of bruise but I knew I couldn't give up I needed to keep on going so I'm gonna fill all of them and I'm gonna check it out for the night and we're gonna be continuing on the next day so the next day of course this is where it's gonna turn into white once it's all white you know the dry decks all nice and dry and then I'm gonna be sanding and if you look in this right here this is what I was talking about some of the area and the with the wood um, it's very very rough so I'm gonna be sanding it and you're gonna see that me sand it. Once I sand it, then I'm gonna use the dry decks again to fill between the two boards. So there cannot be any space. And between the walls on the boards, all I use is just the caulking to seal them. And so to cover the vent, because I still want the vent to be there, I just use the paper towel so that the dust once I'm sanding here, it's not going into the vent. Also, some of the walls in this bathroom were not leveled, therefore whenever I put the boards at the bottom, like some of the corners, there was bigger space than the other area, so I would have to put the dry decks a lot more just to patch it up and to make it all even. That way I don't have a hole and it's easy for me to seal it. Like right behind the sink on the right side here, there was a big, big hole basically between the wall. It's just the way the wall was built. And you guys, wait till you see what happens to me. All this work that I did, mm, breaks my heart. But you know what? It's over. It's over. I don't even want to think about it. So this was the next morning. Everything is nice and dry. I'm going to start sanding down everything. It gets really dusty. At one point, I had to put a mask on because I was like, I'm not trying to breathe this dust here. But that board that I showed you, that goes behind the sink or where the sink goes that area if you guys remember where my sink is I think it's right on this wall at the bottom here anyways that board I showed you it had the biggest hole between the wall and the board I patched it up I mean I made it perfect 
paint it, sand it, paint it again. The, I mean, just when I was done, so we bring we bring in a new vanity. We had a pedestal before, and the reason we wanted to do reno as well is because we want to bring in a vanity that has more space so we can organize more things and just make this small bathroom more functional. And so we got our vanity from Canadian Tire as well. And when we put the vanity against the wall, well, it's not flush to the wall because I put that board right here, right here, that board behind that pedestal. Look at all the dust that I collected. So guess what? I had to remove that board. Yep, yep. Where's the Kleenex? I need to cry. Just thinking about it gives me like... <sighs> And because I sanded it and vacuumed, everything is still dusty, so I just grabbed the bucket of water and just a cloth, wiping down all the boards, the ground, and all the walls, so that everything is free of dust. And now, I'm going to be caulking everything and sealing everything. You can use this sealant, um, I don't even know, applier, I think it's called. It's inexpensive, it's just a couple of dollars. To be honest, there's some areas where... I misplaced it somewhere, I couldn't find it. You'll see me use my finger. Your finger works wonder, but the only thing is that your finger makes a mess, whereas that applicator just smoothly cleans it and you don't have to like clean anything. Look at that, see how smooth that leaves? It's very nice. If you've never used it, try it out. So now I'm going to be sealing everything. So it's the next morning, everything is dry and it's almost like it's very invisible. You can't even see the sealant here. I guess we got like a clear one, so it's almost like it's invisible. So it's perfect for me to paint because I don't even want the white line to show. And yeah, so today is paint day. And we are ripping this off. Originally, I kept it here because we're still using it, but this is coming off and it's gonna be a bigger vanity that will go here, so. And at this point, Sean was removing the pedestal, then my battery died, so then I had to go get another battery, but here it is, pedestal is gone, Sean went ahead and taped all the, uh, the pipes together and all the water lines, so now I'm going to start uh, putting all the tapes around everywhere that I need to paint and let the fun begin. To be honest, I do enjoy painting, I enjoyed every part of this work minus the part where I had to remove everything that I did, which you guys will see it soon enough. And for all the corners and all the little nooks, I'm just using a small hand brush to get in between all the corners. Once I do all those areas and it's all painted, then I use the roller to paint as if this area right here where I'm painting and you guys, I'm making it so perfect, little did I know all this thing is going to come off. <laughs> I'm telling you, my heart is broken when I think about it, but then Right here, as I'm painting as well, I grabbed the roller that I bought a bunch, a bunch of them, the mini little uh, rollers, 
and it was making a little streak so then I had to change the roller and change it to a different kind and that was not even enough fail for this day no the fails continue on until the day I finish no joke Yeah, this roller right here, it did not work for me. See how I'm like, yep, I give up. It just was not working. And then it continued falling off from the from the handle. So I got up and I switched it to this one, which made way more sense. So I have to remove that out of the way so that the vanity can fit against the wall. And then when we measured the vanity, this is the old. I honestly didn't sand that much because I didn't, I figured like the new vanity is gonna go above it. But then the new one is right about here. So that shows this. So it's like, basically you have to start all over again and remove that, resand this whole wall and repaint. Well, now you know my uh, frustration. So here I am removing the perfect job that I did and that is part of life. If life was perfect all the time, it would not be fun. We need to have some mistakes to keep us going. We need things that keeps us on our toes. And to be honest, I was not frustrated. I was at one point, but I said to myself, you know what, this is my first project. It is what it is. At least next time I'm doing a bathroom, I know what I need to do. So I'm just using a little scraper here to scrape off, uh, scrape off all the excess um, paints and stuff. And then here, because we realize the vanity is way shorter than covering this whole thing, as I've just explained. So I'm gonna go ahead, ahead and sand it. That way this whole wall is gonna be smooth because this area is gonna be exposed, which means I cannot have it look like it's all patchy patchy you know what I mean so I'm sanding it and then I'm gonna go ahead and cover all those spaces and all those little holes using the dry decks wait it for it to dry then sand it again yep just continue on never ends so while that's drying up here is the wallpaper I am using oh yeah me I'm so happy right here I'm like you know what let me open it this is the best part this is the final work no no wait for this wait for this grab a cup of tea ready to laugh with me okay so it's the next morning right now I've cut up this last night and so what happened is it is a non adhesive uh, wallpaper so I am going to be I've already pre-cut one piece and the way it works is you apply I already pre-measured the line that I'm going to need so the wallpaper goes here and so you're going to apply I'm going to apply the adhesive on directly to the wall and then put the wallpaper in but first
I'm going to cut this all of them and kind of make sure that each piece is matching with the other piece before I apply it right uh-huh you would think like girl did you not read any instruction before you made any of these plants no I'm human I got way too excited I was doing all kinds of things oh yeah that was me excited so at this point I was already back from Home Depot I applied all the uh, the glue paste and the wallpaper goes on I was pro the first one it took me long by the time I was finishing this thing was taking me like a minute or two I was like in and out but to be honest you know what we, we make mistakes and and this is the type of mistakes that we make is that I honestly did not read non-adhesive wallpaper I just saw wallpaper and I just thought in my head it's a non-stick like peel and stick wallpaper no but this is a way better quality than the uh, peel and stick it's a lot stronger more sturdy and just a whole lot sexier it's, it's just absolutely gorgeous it was worth it but the failures Mm -mm, they did not end so now I'm just gonna add all the towel holders and Sean was putting back the light because I had to put the wallpaper there and then so now that all the big job is done I'm just doing the little details like measuring where the mirror is gonna be going a couple of days prior to this day I got a bunch of mirrors and just to figure out what mirror would go like go with it and so then I end up choosing this and I can't wait to show you the final work plus I'll explain more of the next failures so I have a space here between the wall and the vanity it's not big but big enough for anything to drop in there and then it gets almost tighter so I'm gonna take one of these which is the baseboard that I use for the bottom it's just the trim that I used for uh, like a piece of that trim there so I cut it to fit here and what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna cock it here so there's no water going in and seal it here too so I'm gonna seal both end like that All right so what I did here is I had to paint it because over here it was showing the wood plus I had to shave it down and kind of shape it to so that it looks so perfect right next to that countertop for the vanity. It's not focusing. So now we're gonna go ahead and install this. And the final issue that we run into was when we were installing this vanity, the water lines and the pipeline for the drainage, somehow they were not all meeting out with each other. So we went to Home Depot a couple of times. It got frustrating. Finally, we got one after tightening it up. Sean was happy. Unfortunately, it started leaking water. So we had to get a plumber because we could not take a chance of flood. It's all fixed. It is all worth it. And I cannot wait to show you the final one. I also got some prints from Amazon. It's so pretty. They come in like five pieces for $22, I think. So there is like eight by ten so there's this one here and they come in different uh like horizontally and vertically like different shapes and then it comes with this one as well it is so gorgeous it's a beautiful like old vase with such a bushy looking roses ah beautiful so i think it came in i don't know how many it was total of five um so there is this one here and there is this one here but this is nice for like the fall not now you can see like people just at the river it's nice for like you know late august and then there's this one which kind of looks like fall and it's like a forest it's so pretty and it's very realistic looking paint but it's not it's just a printed paper and then this one which I can use it I want to use this one right now but I have also put this one in this frame this is a frame I've had for a couple of years I got it for five dollars from Walmart honestly it's so perfect and it takes uh, I think eight by ten and it, it's just a perfect size but anyways I put this print here so I wasn't sure if I should take this print and 
put it in this frame because I also got this frame right now from HomeSense. It's very, very pretty and it's got like that detail. It's like a vintage looking kind of. I love it. And then I also found this one here, which is good for one of the smaller ones. Um, and I'm going with like the natural, neutral tones and like very subtle gold because I do still love the gold. I'm not so much off into black, black everything. I do like to add like a bronze gold kind of like that. Excuse my phone ringing. So I'm going to try out to see what print looks good in what frame. Because I need one of these frames to go into the bathroom. So I swapped them. So we've got this here that looks like this. And then there's this one here. Basically, I took the frame that was in and I put it in here because I feel like this picture here floats much better in the bathroom than just having these trees. And I might be putting this in the entryway, but I do love. And this one goes like diagonal, whereas this is horizontal. Um, so, yeah. Now let's go decorate. After long two weeks, it has finally come to an end. And right now, I'm going to be adding all the little details, all the little decors, just finalizing this beautiful product that I am so proud to say I did it with my own hands and I'm super happy. My mom will be super excited and will be proud of me. And I'm so proud of myself, my kids, my husband were all proud of me. And now I'm like, do I go to the next project? Oh yeah, here above the toilet i was trying like three different decors and so it looks like i'm gonna give you guys some styling ideas as well so there was style number one this way then i took it off i didn't somehow like it then i added this gold tray and my favorite favorite elephant look at this and it just looks so beautiful with the rest of the bathroom i feel like the elephant just pulls it together and it has this golden like metallic leaves it's a bunch of branches that i got from amazon a couple of years back i've put it in this elephant in the last three years and i never took it apart i feel like it just looks so perfect together but then in just a bit you'll see me right here i took out um i'll be taking out the tray and just leaving the elephant and that elephant you can actually use it as a like a vase or as a plant pot because it has a hole and and it's just such a beautiful piece so i ended up just using the elephant by itself here right above the toilet i wanna be weightless teach me to fly i won't be coming down and I got this mini diffuser from HomeSense. It's a vanilla coconut scent. Oh my God, it smells so good. You know what my favorite scent is for from Bath & Body Works? It's the uh, Laundry Day for those oil, what do they call it? Flower, I've had this conversation before. Flower, flower plugs, you know what I'm talking, those oil things that you plug into the wall. Get the Laundry Day or fresh linen. They smell so yummy. So a couple of days later, like two days later, I ended up putting laundry day and now the bathroom, not only is it sexy cozy, but it smells yummy. Okay, so here is before. This is what it looked like. Some of you that have been with me will remember this. It was not bad. It was simple. But roll the drums. And this is after. Let me know what you guys think. I'll let you guys enjoy the rest of the video with some cozy music. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you got inspiration and it gave you some ideas. Whether you are a beginner DIY like me or someone who's been doing this all i know is i'm very grateful to at least accomplish one big job in my home and i'm super happy with it i love this space it just became one of my favorite space right now so we will see what will be the next space that i tackle 
please don't forget to subscribe i would love you to join for more diy more home decorating and a whole lot of cleaning motivation in this channel thank you again for watching give it a thumbs up as well and i will see you guys on my next one assalamu alaikum bye bye